It's gonna rule. Okay. Walking around here slows me down or does something. This is a thing, but I don't think I have anything that can use that thing right now. Hit violent. warning. Delia Samando. There's enemies here. Oh, hey, buddy! How are you? What's up, buddy? You dead, buddy? <laughs> Grab your little things. Tentacles just going everywhere on that. That's kind of gross. I, I'll be honest, the thing that I am shocked. But whoa! Oh, that was adrenaline. Okay. <laughs> I keep seeing the red, and I'm just like, is that adrenaline happening? What's going on there? Oh, turrets! Okay. That's what killed me before. That is what killed me before. Adrenaline reset. Is the uh, is the adrenaline a fucking style gauge? Like, is that what I'm experiencing here? Is the adrenaline a fucking style gauge? Because I think it's a fucking style gauge. I didn't see anything pop up saying area secure. Okay, how does water work? Badly. Badly. Water works badly. Got it. Okay. Good test. Um, <laughs> fuck. Okay. Sick. I'm gonna die in two rooms now. Gravity suit needed. It's fucking, <laughs> fucking Metroid. <laughs> Fucking Metroid. <laughs> okay, so if I can get past this, I can get an item. It's really easy, actually. Actually, kind of weirdly simple. Uh, Zeno Tech required. Can I just shoot it? Okay. I don't. I. I do not meet the height requirements for this ride. It would seem. My old buy different. My old buy is different now. What the fuck? Wait, so I unlocked an alt fire for this gun, and it's permanent, but it changes every run? Is that what I'm experiencing? Huh. Also, one thing I'll notice, uh, one cap, I probably should have read what that said before I picked it up. Oh well. I know it's a one calibrator, it upgrades proficiency and stuff, but it may have told me, like, what proficiency on upgrade or anything like that? Um. Fuck, I was gonna say was I gonna... Oh yeah. yeah, falling into the water. The, um, so as much as that owl stung and hurt, um, if there's one thing that it tells me, which is a very good thing to know, is that falling down doesn't do instantly. Also, I'm seeing on the map that there's some shit way the fuck up there, and how do I get to it? <laughs> okay. That feels like a grapple beam. I know I know not everything is Metroid, but come on, that looks like a grapple point. And like, there's one over there too. I feel like I'm already seeing shit that I can't get because I don't have that for that, everything for it. And also, uh, the way these leaves are growing, it, um, either these vines are loaded onto this wall poorly, or we can chalk it up to aliens. Uh, so that's the good thing about this game is that being randomly generated, not everything is gonna generate the, into everything correctly. Like, I don't know how much this is meant to look like this, but. Being an alien world of weird, wacky shit, it's always a feature and it's never a bug. <laughs> so, uh, um, you know, we have that going for us. Uh, also, I have two doors. This one's a triangle on the map? I'm gonna go to the triangle. That's what I'm gonna do. I somewhat regret going to the triangle. It's ejecting. It is ejecting bullet hell. Okay, scan this. Malignant what? Oh, fuck. Malignant Silphum? Shit. Oh, God. Contaminated by unknown causes it to emit an unknown. Aerosol. It's an aerosol. While well, phenomenon as malignancy is not directly obscuring the primary use of specimen, it's caused a it, it can cause a malfunction suit systems through so far unknown means as there is no difference between a healthy and a malignant specimen despite the clear visual difference. Helpful. Cool. Fuck yeah, let's go. Um, okay. That one's healthy. Is this thing gonna detect me and try to march towards me? Or is it literally just fucking up that one bit of the ground? Which also looks like it is not safe to be. 
Alright. Oh, large stuff. That gave me two. Fuck yeah, let's go. Present, fuck yeah. The re okay, so... Sorry. I, 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 so the Silverm's just the the quick recharge. Yeah, the, yeah. The resin is the is the permanent. That's the shit that we want. That's the stuff that's not like hot. That's good. This requires a key. Requires a key. Sick. Okay. I gotta say, for a roguelike, and this isn't a bad thing. Um, in fact, I feel like it is generous, especially given the nature of how unknown this game is. I am uh, very much appreciating how much information this map is giving me. <laughs> It feels like it's giving me a lot for what is a roguelike. Um, because wow, it tells me a lot about like where stuff is, what doors are doing and everything like that without needing to go over to it in an ind individual room. Uh, it's, I, I, again, I don't think it's a bad thing right now because I'm very much appreciative of having that information. I'm just kind of shocked that, that, that we're getting it. <laughs> it is fun to shoot. The shooties are indeed fun, and I'm very much liking them. And we have auto lock on it seems to start with enemies. Uh, also very much liking this. Not, I Every time I see the adrenaline stuff, I think I'm getting hit. Every fucking time. Every time I see the adrenaline, I think I'm getting hit. Oh god! Oh fuck you! Oh god, we're half-life now too. Fuck you! Can I kill the thing at the top? Well, I don't know if that did anything, but... Fuck you! Fuck you! Smoking space style? <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Every time I say enhanced vision. Okay. Not 100% sure what enhanced vision means, but I'll take it. Alright, breaking calibrator, weapon proficiency. So it just gives me... Oh, that's what the thing down the bottom is there. It's the, it's the upgrade system down there. Oh god! Hi! The, that raid absolutely hit me, by the way. That, there is no way that didn't hit me, and I'm shocked that I got away with that. It abs fucking literally hit me. What's this? Trophy and key. Nice. I can get back to the other side if I want to. Um, okay. I gotta say, so far, I'm really getting into this. <laughs> so far, like, I'm getting into this. I'm actually quite liking this so far. It is making a very good initial impression of a roguelike and a space exploration game. Um, like, so, because... Again, it's a game that I didn't pay much attention to before release because I'm just like, there was nothing about it that was like real. Oh, nice. Lunch. Fuck yeah. There was nothing grabbing um, me with the pre release stuff. It's just like, yeah, it looks cool, but like, you know, I, I like. Nah. Um, and that was kind of my build process before. Okay, what the fuck is What is There is an item somewhere here. Is it on top? Is it in that thing? Where is it? Oh. There is red vines there covering something. And it would probably... Yeah, it's lower than me on the map, I think. So it's... Okay, the big map doesn't show shit. But it's showing me all the question mark stuff over there, which is... Oh! Main path and side path! That's triangles... Ah! That is really generous! <laughs> really generous! Wow, it tells you what's a side path. Wow. Okay. Wow, that's generous. Yeah, like, pre-release, it was just like, you know, it looks cool... Like the like, graphics look cool and everything like that, cool space things, but like there was nothing about it that was grabbing me. It was just like, oh yeah, it looks, it looks cool. People play it, people enjoy it, and everything like that. And then it's just I started seeing people mention on Twitter that yo, shooting in this game is really sick. As a roguelike, it's kind of busted. The runs are way too long as a roguelike. I didn't hear how long they were. Then just said in chat that there's that uh, they're saying anywhere between 90 minutes to two hours, which is a long run. Uh, and you can't save at any point in the middle of a run, which is even more concerning. Um, but I was, I was just like, people were talking about the third person shooting, like shooting is fun and everything like that, and just like how it's like got really good stuff like that. So I'm like, eh, you know what? Eh, fuck it. I want a PS5 game. This is like a PS5 game that people are getting good reviews for. Eh, why not? Why not? I'm getting really into it so far. I get a bit of Dead Cells vibes from it where the map will generate with stuff you can't interact with because map generation doesn't differentiate between an early run and a late run in terms of what gear you have. That is actually kind of cool. I do like that. And if it's a, and if it is indeed a Metroidvania, like Metroid Prime 1, um, you know, then we'll go, yo, I can get the thing now. Ah! Alright, so this is a coffin. Inert Reclaimer, an inactive Xenotech device for recovery, which we do not have enough 
ether for. Okay. Once again, being told about stuff that we need, that we don't have. <laughs> um, so, okay. That's cool. Thank you. <laughs> the howls are cool. Like, even if you're safe, you can still hear the howls of the wildlife. That's cool. I really, I'm, I'm into that. I'm into that a lot, actually. Okay, this looks like an arena. Okay. A lot of evil going on. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, they're seeing me the option to scan it. It's a gun! <laughs> I have found a gun! Do guns count as permanent items? Do I get this on my next run when I inevitably die in two rooms? There's a big cutscene if- Acquired a xenotype weapon. Similar to the combat technology. It's a big cutscene to get a new gun if it's not a permanent. Unlock new weapon traits and, st and stats with proficiency. Gain proficiency by eliminating cost styles. Uh, I pressed the button, it didn't do anything. Oh! Oh, I'm pressing the other button. What button is it asking me to press there? My control is painted, so I can't tell what the buttons are. Oh, it might have been... No, no, shares like the three points. Okay. Xenotech required. I think Xenotech is just a permanent, like, Metroid upgrade. I'm gonna constantly call this Metroid and no one can fucking stop me. Um... <laughs> Go, that's not the that's not that go online go online next session so i feel like this game is good enough that it's gonna have a next session um <laughs> god damn it <laughs> me just buying a game to test out stream settings full lp Woo! let's go um <laughs> fuck okay i want to look at this menu for a second okay weapon damage proficiency rate alt fire cooldown okay that just okay oh jesus there's oxygen atmosphere pressure and radiation i am worried that will become important later on um, and we have suit augments. It doesn't let me, like, go in... Oh, I am navigating the menu. There's just nothing to navigate in it. Cool. Okay, sick. Okay. Uh... Can I swap my weapons? Or do you get one at a time, and then you just gotta pick them up between runs? Like, choose what you want between runs. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Tachyomatic carbine. It's a gun that shoots through time. Fuck, we really are gungeoning. Was it gungeon that had that? I don't remember. A long range weapon, a sentient make. Despite the exposed and open design of the weapon, it seems markedly resistant to the damage or jamming, despite the high pa um, particulate matter energy uh, matter present in the atmosphere, indicating the possibility for self maintaining materials. Weapon has a high rate of fire, um, enabled by the unique combination of its mechanism and the projectiles. It utilizes electromagnetic fields to accelerate small, passing error projectiles to high speeds, although where this comes from is currently unclear. Fuck yeah. End of the Gungeon's goal was a gun that can kill the pass. Yes, I do remember. I do remember stuff. Anyway, here's the thing that killed me. That fucking turret. Stationary guns are presumably used um, as defense against native fauna, fauna and unknown reference. Lies waiting in compact state until it detects a threat in its vicinity. Turret rotates thoroughly both horizontally and vertically and can fire projectiles similar to the fauna. Some models can generate a force field that block fast moving objects. The only method to circumnavigate this is a slower, close range attack. Uh, I don't have a punch yet. Unless I do it, I don't know how to do it. It's also possible. Huh. The weapon charger. Oh, it's the stuff that just enables the alt fire on a quick weapon rate. Okay. Object has embedded itself um, into unknown error systems and disengaging it is impossible without complete system shutdown. We're just now always able to do that. Okay. Okay. We seem to be good. I do not know how to switch weapons. It is neither my L1 or my R1. I think this may just be my gun. <laughs> You may get one gun, and that is your gun. <laughs> it is possible that that is what the game wants you to do. Discovered a massive wall beyond which is the white shadow signal. I can't cross the chasm. So For now, I'll explore. change objectives and investigate the energy reading in the forest. Okay, but it's going somewhere else. Sick. Hi, little boys. What are you doing? Hi. Would you like me to kill you? 
Are you hostile? I don't know what you are. Hi, buddy. They seem to not be hostile. I'm not going to piss them off. Scout log, Atropos. They're all off. Triggered the broadcast. Do you see the white shadow is something only I should know? And now, out of literally nowhere, I'm hearing it again. Were the sentience involved? But how would they have known? I need to believe there are answers at the signal. Okay, so that's why she came here. Because it's something personal to her that started emanating from this random fucking planet. Oh, okay. You know what? The fact that these things have big long legs and aren't hostile, I find them cute. <laughs> like Metroid, if it's not hostile, I will not try I will not kill it. <laughs> People find that adorable in my playthroughs. I've noticed that a lot. People love it when ever I like in Metroid when I come across a non-hostile thing and I refuse to kill it. I've had so many comments of just like it's kind of adorable that you do that and I'm just like, well I can't bring myself to do it. Alright. I saw that I saw that marks of that I'm just like, isn't that a scout look thing? I can't do it. I don't have the Xenotech acquired to do it yet. Got it. Okay. Another one. Sick. Alright, never mind. I guess I won't do anything with that one either. <laughs> so, hi! Hey, hello buddies! Yo, I have a fast gun now! Urgh. Yeah! Yeah! Enhanced melee attack! How do I do a melee attack? How do I do a melee attack? Video game, you've not told me how to do a melee attack. There's a triangle. Is it. Whoa! I have a scan function. The Rise 6 my scan function, it's the Batman fucking scan. <laughs> sick because it's not square it circles my dash triangles pick up shit x is jump l1 and r1 currently don't do anything uh that's lock on and that is fire i'll zoom in and fire and none of my deeper none of my deeper doing anything either hi buddy <laughs> that kills things good nice Nice. I am liking it. I am liking it. I am liking it. I, am... I gotta say, it, it was not long for me to get on board with this game. <laughs> like, I'm just actually really having a fun time. Just like, the, like, just the nature of the atmosphere of the game is immediately, immediately engrossing me. Which, like, it feels like it feels like it shouldn't be that. In oh god, they actually do reach for you. Cool. It feels like it shouldn't be that instant that it just does that because. Like, it's just giving me mysteries and no answers, and it's just being like, oh, you don't know what's going on, and nothing else. Um, <laughs> but it's doing it in a way that's making me interested in it. I think it's the same thing as Metroid. It's giving it that scientific, like, it's a mystery, but you're looking at it from a scientific approach, so it's like, ooh, ooh, what's going on? Also, feature, not a bug. <laughs> Can you look at the controller and options? Dengsa, Densha, you're a fucking genius. Um, <laughs> okay. Switch consumable left, toggle extender HUD, switch consumable right, use consumable, okay. R1 is literally nothing. Melee is square. So I just don't have a melee function right now. Suit computer. What button is that? Suit computer and game menu. What buttons are they saying they are? Okay, game menu is the start button. The start... Okay, it is the button with three lines. That's what the video things were. Got it. Got it. Okay. So, wait. What was the extended hut thing again? Go back into that. Wrong button. Go into my... Go into this. Um... Down. Okay. <laughs> it's not doing anything right now. Game map could be to start from menu. Yeah, I kind of forgot what things were. <laughs> oh, hi, buddy! up ready but totally missed sick okay let me try that again get away from me fuck you <laughs> the way his tentacles it is like oh, i'm gonna get you oh the xenotech junk shit okay okay keep your secrets then mm. 
can I explore anywhere else? <laughs> I'm seeing health shit around, but, uh, mm, crap, I'm not sure. Cool. Ah, uh, but I did find a key! Which I... No, it's a calibrator. Never mind. Yo, let's go! High proficiency levels will improve weapon capabilities. Okay. It's... You just gotta go to tutorials for it. Okay. 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 Proficiency measures your combat ability. You get proficiency for each hostile that you will elim eliminate, but there are also items that can grant proficiency or affect your proficiency. Right, how much proficiency you are gaining from kills and items. Your proficiency level determines the minimum level of weapons you can find in the world. Oh! Oh! So if you have better proficiency, you find better guns. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought it would like. So when it says improve weapon capabilities, it's weapon capabilities of new guns that you find, not the one you're using. Or maybe both. I'm not quite sure. Uh, each weapon you discover has three properties: alt fire, stats, and traits. Alt fire is an alternate firing mechanism that recharges over time. Stats affect the weapon's power and other attributes that are unique for each weapon, while traits can modify or add new behaviors to it. Many traits uh, start as locks, but you can unlock them with continuous use of the weapon. Your proficiency level affects how high the stats can be on the weapons you find. Okay, okay, okay. Adrenaline is raised for every three hostiles you eliminate up to a maximum level of five. Each level provides a unique effect uh, which stack together. The effects can be viewed in the status page in the suit computer. If I'm taking any damage, however, your adrenaline is reset. It's literally a fucking style system. That is sick. That is sick. I know this is minimum level, so you can still find higher levels, but it's proficiency. Um, you can never find lower level ones. Yeah, so as you go in a run, if you do better or find more items that give you stuff, at least your new guns that you find aren't going to be terrible kind of thing. Hmm. Okay. Alt fire. Uh, powerful charges slower. Yep. Uh, be on the lookout for items that can affect uh, the length of the alt fire cooldown. Okay. Uh, dealing damage to hostile also applies a staggering force. Oh my god, it's also FF7 remake. Hostile will get staggered when the thin bar below the health bar is filled. Yeah, you could say God of War, but I'm going with Final Fantasy VII remake because I want to reference a good game. Uh, staggering temporarily interrupts hostile attacks and behaviors. Some hostiles have a weak point that can be hit to deal additional damage and stagger. Wow, it, it, it is, it, it. This is a third person shooter combining Metroid Prime and Final Fantasy VII Remake. If, if people told me that beforehand, I would have bought this game on day one. <laughs> but I don't know if people knew that. <laughs> no one who I've actually spoken to seems to actually have played the game. They've just heard about it, so that's fair. Uh, Katsuit Man Function getting it. Oh, oh. Read this. You seek a malfunction when coming into contact with living entities such as containers, consumables, or even certain enemy projectiles. They have a chance to create a malfunction, triggering negative effects that can only be removed by performing tasks indicated. Gaining a third malfunction triggers a critical malfunction, which will destroy a random carried item. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Wow. Weapons on natural do not require ammunition, but they can be overheat, overheat fired continuously. After overheating, your weapon slowly recharges itself, but you can speed this up with the overload. If you pull the trigger when the indicator is inside the mark zone, your weapon comes instantly fully reloaded. Some items can affect your overload state with additional buffs. And dash, which is just dash. Okay. Okay. That is where those are. Okay. I feel like I'm learning a lot, and I'm going to forget it all very soon. Oh, my map is filled with health items that I cannot reach. <laughs> Uh, nice mantle animation. Is that the word I'm looking for? My brain is saying yes. But I could very easily be wrong on that. <laughs> I could very easily be wrong on that. Okay. Ooh, kind of chest. Malfunction is fine as long as you make a habit of focusing on the task and don't let them build up. Yeah. Uh, okay. Damage Zenitech device. Fabricates a random item in exchange for a certain amount of uber lights. So that your uber lights just... Oh, uh, they're, they're shot. It's literally a shot. Okay. Okay. I don't have enough because I haven't been able to destroy those things we've been running into. The chunks. But that's what those are. Okay. Okay. We have shop items. That was random. Makes me wonder if there's going to be ones that aren't random later on. Ah. Uh, I'm getting a, I'm getting a lot of questions so far that I'm happy that I'm having. <laughs> oh, see. Another dead me. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Can I see my name on the helmet? I was gonna assume it's me. 
<laughs> I have interacted yep. with other versions of myself. Don't want to hear that. But I worry one day I will re-experience these same interactions from their perspectives. But are they truly me? Or just hollowed corpses? This may be the face of things to come. Are we saying that the first time for us was the first time? But time doesn't care about when the run took place. So I can run into previous failed runs that happened in the future. It requires something to activate. The controller does a lot of cool shit when it does that. It's literally a fucking teleporter. I can see the other end on the map, you bastards. <laughs> I can see the other end on the map. Literally showing me. Literally showing me right there. H hi. Oh, hi. Yeah. Meow. Nice. Drive the end what I get. Achieve a maximum adrenaline? Yeah! Oh, maximum adrenaline is enhanced Orbalite. Oh my god. Better money. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, okay. Okay, okay. I see what you're doing. Video game. I'm on to you. I'm on to your shit. I'm on to your shit. What do we got? Uh, resin? Max. I'll take that. Bam. Yeah, I gotta say, so far what people are saying, the, the, the third person shooting aspect being good, you know, the skill is fucking great. A lot of it, a lot of it I'll say right now is the vib- Oh, Jesus. Is the vibrations in the controller. Uh, making, like, so you can feel it when you fire the guns, and I feel like the PS5 is just gonna be really fucking good for, uh, for that stuff. <laughs> uh, for just making guns feel good. Permanent weapon trait, unlocks trait, armor piercing. Yo, let's go. That's just a permanent, that's it specifically a permanent unlock. Alright, give me your Uberlights. Give me your Uberlights. Orbalites. Whatever they're called. <laughs> whatever they're called. It didn't say error secure. I don't fucking trust you. What is this? One calibrator. I'll take it. Thank you. Also, it looks like the Orbalites despawn after quick, quickly. They, yeah, no. That is something I've been noticing. They disappear within fucking a second or two. It's ridiculous. Like, if you want to get the money for it, you need to kill them and then run at them. Like, risk reward is... Ridiculous in that regard. Uh, oh, yo, more max health. Let's go. Nice. Nice. Some little little bits of permanent. Uh, just staying around. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> they just fucking went. Um, but the sound on that. That I did a perfectly accurate rendition of. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Uh, presumably valuable items. Safe to open. Thank you. Oh, shit. Okay. It's my sidearm, but again. I don't know if I want that over my current gun. It's only got a little bit of better fire rate, which my current gun has a good fuck fucking fire rate. I can also see why a run could take ages. Well, this is also me observing everything on a first run. But I feel like that's gonna be happening on future runs for a long time to come of just looking at everything and learning it and stuff. I can definitely see that being a thing that takes a long time. Um, I don't want that. I could unlock the ricochet if I got enough kills with it, but it's only thing that it's got a bonus on is fire rate, which I've already got a fast firing weapon. It looks like from what I can tell, you can only equip one gun at a time. And like you swap and you just keep the new one. There's no changing other than what you pick up. So I'm going to stick with this thing very much. I will stick very much with this. Okay, so there's. Wait. Oh, the health's behind the door. Got it. But how do I get that? It's behind the thing. It's behind the thing that I cannot open. So I will not take the new gun. Okay. I gotta say, these statues are fucking sick. <laughs> Menacing as hell, and very much getting Chozo vibes. I'm just gonna. It's, I, it's Metroid. I'm not gonna stop saying it's Metroid. This looks like something that I meant to jump in, but it's not a hole made for me. 
a Xenotech device for accurate reconstruction of complex entities. This is going to make an enemy. Right? Ah, oh, fuck it, I'm doing it. Discovered a device with a sentient shaped imprint. I'm gonna regret this, but I'm doing it. Conducting field test. <laughs> field test. This was a bad idea. For what purpose? It tried to kill you. It tried to make a stamp out of you. Already powered. I love how I shoved stuff into that. It tried to make a stamp out of me, and now I don't even know what it fucking did. Sick. Okay, cool. We will uh, learn that later, I guess. <laughs> Fuck. All right. All right, all right. I am on board with this game shit. I just have a lot of questions. Like what? Maybe it's a single use respawn for this run? Oh, you're totally right. Also, fuck me. Also, fuck me. <laughs> still can't do, can't still do that. I assume Zen attack is a permanent. Still don't know where the bug or feature, but yeah. It's either bug or feature. It's an alien planet, so they can get away with feature even if it's a bug. Alright, okay. For an alien species, I'm noticing a lot of um what I'm going to call, and it's probably a colonialist as hell way of calling it, and I probably shouldn't call it that. Um ritual-esque architecture. Um <laughs> Oh, I have to send sense before. I mean, we are essentially missing a day one patch. I mean, it adds to the atmosphere. Discovered xenotype technology on the corpse of a sentient. Scan is indicating potential for suit augmentation. Shove the alien technology onto your back, Celine. <sighs> Let the technology give you a robot hug, Celine. Do it. What have you got to lose? You can't die. When you die, you come back. You'll be fine. That fit really well. System integration complete. Performing a function test to confirm. You'll see. Now use translocators. Hermetic transmitter unlocked. Hell yeah, we can teleport. I totally missed, by the way. A uh, calibrator back here. Almost level two. Almost. All right. Short distance travel. Where are we going? Yo, you get to see it. That looks cool. Con that looks cool as shit. Confirmed. <laughs> point to point teleportation. It seems painful. Location exit seems fixed. That is also totally a thing I meant to go to at some point, but you know. <laughs> if I had better jumps or something, I could probably go over there. But I can't. So I won't. <laughs> okay. We're going back this way, I believe. Yeah, we're just up here. That's the thing. So nice. God, you're speedy. Backtracking this game is not a problem because you're speedy as fuck. Whee! Oh, God. First, we saw a giant orb, and now we're using smaller, glowy orbs to become an even smaller, but even glowier orb. This game is just nothing but orb. Returnal, more like orb. That was. A joke? I don't know. Uh, Ether, hey, yo! Permanent resource. Interacts with other timelines. Okay. That is the first time that we've seen what describes what is happening here as timelines and not just us being revived. This is now being described as timelines. Also, do keep in mind our gun can kill through time. It's timeline shit. Not respawning shit. Which would make sense if that first run was our first run, but we were still seeing audio logs of us dying repeatedly beforehand. So it's timey wimey. Okay. And there's a mysterious resource that is kept on death. Gain ether by interacting with deceased scouts and completing daily challenges via the ship terminal. Feels like this game has daily challenges. You can also use your ether to, to do something. 
what can I also use my ether to do? Sorry, I didn't get time to read that. That was the fastest prompt in this entire game so far. Where is our ether? Ether. Um. Um. No, I'm not seeing anything there. Um, to cleanse meddling then to need special terminals. Thank you. Thank you, Zensha. <laughs> Purple colored previously undiscovered substance has curious properties. Despite the lack of any necessary structures for unknown error, maintaining a symbiotic relationship with its host. Once interacted with it, it adheres to the host's unknown error and maintains itself in a fixed position in relation to the host despite unknown error. It displays capacity to negate malignancy as well as power some Xenotech devices, despite these devices lacking clear input for this substance. Okay. I'll read all the stuff soon. I'm kind of engrossed in the run. I kind of know I spent a lot of time to read. When I die and go back, I'll read. Presumably, if you pick one up while you've got a super function, it'll just auto clear it, which is sick. And also, what I think I saw in the menu before for the video tutorial, I swear it was literally here too. But they picked up something and it cleared the malfunctions when I was just grabbing that. Got another key. I'm picking up so many keys and I'm not using any of them. I do, probably don't want to fall down there. There's something happening down there. But I'll pass on dropping down there. Even though I think it is... Ah, oh, it's totally shit on the map. It's letting me transport down there. I should probably transport. I will not test whether this game is full damage just yet. Also... This game is gorgeous. <laughs> like, those environment... It's doing a very good job of, like, alien rune slash creepy forest thing. The vibe that it's going for is doing very, very well. Whee! That was very fast. And... Okay, so there are enemies in there. If I was to jump down, I could probably kill them. But again, I don't want to test for fall damage, and I can't get up that high. Well, I might be able to mantle up that high, but there's a gap beneath it, and I don't want to test that. Uh, area skin. Okay. Uh, oh, it just shows you where exits and shit are. That's, what, that's why it's telling me to do that. Got it. Okay. Well, I do like how it's a roguelike that tells you where the main pathway is. Which I think going under does that too. No, it tells you, no. It will tell you question marks on what the next room is. If it's like a random fucking type technology that produces other devices. Oh, this is like the actual shop. <laughs> This is the actual shop. Got it. Xenotech device that fabricates items powered with um, orbalites. Got it. Okay. Wait, what's this? What's this one? This one seemed different. Uh, device that exchanges ether for um, um, and orbalites for one another. Seems poised to do something if enough orbalites are placed in it. Cooperation with scouts. Other scouts is encouraged. Oh, it's an online thing. Okay. Online thing. Got it. Interesting. Uh... Increases max integrity by 30%. Whoa! Expensive as shit, but whoa. Okay. It's literally a shop. It's literally a shop. Literally a fucking shop. Okay. Large, large amount of integrity. Uh, additional consumable slot. I haven't even gotten any consumables yet. Uh, integrity by 5% per adrenaline level. Wow, okay. Uh, wow. Wow, that would be really good on certain runs. Uh, low integrity suit auto repairs itself slowly. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Clutch runs and power runs. That's what those two are for. God, this game is really... <laughs> it, th this game is digging its claws into me very quickly. As a roguelike, I'm actually kind of... It's kind of getting me. It's kind of getting me with its shit. Like, I'm just seeing what... Like, how much it's leaning into the roguelike with its item structure and everything. Like, I, so I'm thinking when people talk about it not being a good roguelike, I think it's purely down to length and not able to save in the middle of a run, which is two problems that combine together. Uh, potentially beneficial. All right. It's an obelisk. These are never good. Troviant. Evidence of rudimentary xenotype language discovered. Oh. Currently lacking resources to decide. It's literally alien law, if I have the stuff to tell me. Okay. Uh... There's an evil eye. I kind of want to shoot it. Uh, destination selectable? R. R. Alien writing. Was this a glyph? Hey, Discovery nice. Discovery fragment of the xenotype language. Okay. Uh. Oh my god. They're just the fucking. <laughs> 
runes from Metroid Prime 1. <laughs> I will never stop. Never stop. Can't stop, won't stop referencing Metroid Prime 1. Uh, I promise I'll play Metroid Prime 3 soon. Uh, a single character of Xenotype um, Syllabary intrinsically implies self-awareness and a non-existential um, passing error. Despite the sophistication of structures and machinery present, language and its writing medium seem exceedingly based and primitive, as this language is wholly separate from their capacity to create and think. <laughs> I kind of love that way of describing it. it. Okay, one of ten. Okay. Is that a cult permanent or a pararanta? Alright, now we can. Okay. Is this translating correctly? Oh! Brethren, maddening agony. It's literally the more you get, the more you can decipher. That's actually kind of cool. Our severed brethren are maddening and they stop the endless cycle of. Jesus Christ, are the aliens experiencing the cycle shit too? Okay. Also, listen to the sounds going on around me. There's no enemies, but alien life is existing near me. I'm gonna shoot the fucking eye. The eye, shooting the eye is not doing anything. I have, uh, wait, no, I can, I can use this. Where am I going for this? Okay, it literally just lets you go fucking anywhere. These are the long distance ones. Okay. If you really need to go back, there you fucking go. Nice. Nice, okay. Wow. Shit, alright. Oh my god, I'm hearing that stuff so much. I'm worried it's gonna cut something up and try and kill me. Resistant to projectile damage. Okay. Don't even try and shoot it. Feature. I don't have one patch. Feature though. Still a fucking feature. <laughs> oh, enemies! That's a new one. Hi, oh, buddy. How are you? Oh, Jesus! I did not realize how close to me that was. Fuck. You're almost dead. You're dead now. Hi, buddy. How are you? All upcoming weapon levels improved. Nice. I'm gonna shoot the shit out of you. Nice. Hell yeah. Oh, they leave acid on the ground. Sick. All right. Go over. Grab the overlight. Is it overlights or overlights? In the room of the floating... Oh, wait. Wasn't there a key lock door like way back at Silas Run in the room of the floating bomb? I think you were totally right. There was. I completely forgot about that. I... D <laughs> Should I go back for it? <laughs> I'm kind of just thinking... Uh, fuck it. I'll try and remember that shit better in next month. Yeah, but you're totally right. Is that ether? Is that ether? Is purple ether? Ah, there's more ether. Permanent resources. Roguelikes nowadays have permanent have permanent shit. That's how we do things now. <laughs> We're beyond the binding of Isaac days, where you just got unlocked where you just unlocked new shit you could find and nothing was permanent. We're beyond those days now. That being said, there was a permanent upgrade in that game to start with, and it was called unlocking Azrael. <laughs> you know if you were ballsy. Um, or you just wanted to be overpowered. The ballsy stuff, but also over the Breaking calibrator. Oh, we're gonna get to level three before we know it. God, I'm hearing the grossies everywhere and I love it. I love it a lot. Just how much you can just hear shit going on. Oh, it's so sick. Technically, that makes them rogue lights. A true rogue light would have zero uh, anything carried over between our runs, not even unlocks like Isaac has. So we've got like multiple, multiple barriers. Okay, what's it? What is. What's a red door mean? I'm worried it means boss. Because that's main pathway, but it has an upside down triforce. But this is also main pathway over here. Hmm. Because the map doesn't tell me what the red means. They're both main pathways. Wait, wait. No, it does tell me. Vault. It's a vault. Okay, I'll go that way then. I like how some of the doorways between areas aren't literal door, like they're archways. There's no actual door there. So it does just go from one to the other. The environmental sounds are really good. You say, I think, you know what the environmental sounds and the structure, the look of the world is actually reminding me the most of out of anything? Oddworld. That's, 
like, the vibe that the world is giving me. Like, even stuff like this where it's scanning the environment, or the twisted trees, and the sound effects of ambience, of life everywhere around and everything like that. I am getting Oddworld as shit vibes right now. Like, Oddworld if it leaned more into the horror, because it was unknown to, like, because you didn't know the place, rather than Oddworld where you're a native. Um, kind of thing. Like, you're part of Oddworld and you... To you, it's not that odd. It's a little odd, it's not that odd. But for us here, we're landing here, so we know nothing about the place. Bard from Citadel. Um, Frike? Unforgivable taboo. Stop the coal digging into our mind. Also, I have a stealth section. Okay, I see where that goes. Oh my god, they're like literal eyes. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay! I didn't even get spotted by anything, but enemies are still attacking me. They're- Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, 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 I have... I have pissed them off! I have pissed them off! Oh, Jesus. Oh, nice. I got a real. I got the active reload. Nice. Hell yeah. Oh, that sound effect was nice. I don't know what caused it, but... Oh! But I had a sound effect come from my controller and it was cool. Go on, kill you. Nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay. I was only expecting the fight stuff if I fucked up the stealth, but here we are. Now look at these things! They're giant, like, human-like eyeballs on rocks. Oh, God. God damn. As I said, this game's getting me in. This game's getting me in very fucking quickly. I'm actually really impressed by how much I'm being drawn in by this game this fucking fast. It's not at all what I- oh, that's malignant shit, isn't it? Uh... Cleanse with two ether. So I could just use the ether to cleanse this immediately. But it's the only two ether I've got. I like how the searchlight, uh, flicker when the eyes blink. Oh. Oh my god! I didn't even pick up on that dead shot, thank you. God damn, yeah, you're- that's sick. That is sick. Okay. Um, Anathema key, uh, more heavily secured, requires a unique key to open. And that's just teleporting back. Well, the whole point of coming to a vault was to get a vault. I feel like I should take this. I don't know whether I want to use the ether or not. I'm wondering what ether can do on, like, it's a permanent resource for future runs. Can I do anything with it on future runs? I kind of want to test around with that more than not take a malfunction. Fuck it. I didn't even get the malfunction, baby. <laughs> Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Didn't even get malfunctions. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh. Those teleporters when they're long distance are... Uh, uh, very different looking. That was some, like... PlayStation direct transitional cutscene orbs happening there. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on. So, we, yeah, we got through all this. Whee! Again, our rate of movement makes the backtracking stuff not an issue. And movement is so fun that I don't even care. Hell yeah. Oh god, okay. <laughs> I mean, the last one function was just killed in enemies, so I'm wondering how bad they can really be to clear. It's more so how bad can they affect you. Like, what if one of them is cut your rate of fire down to a third? What if it's, like, you do a quarter damage? And then clearing it is fucking difficult as shit. Like, even if it's an easy thing to clear, if it makes it hard to do anything. Oh, God. Alright, this is a gun. This is a gun that looks like I'm attaching it to my arm. Spit more blaster. Okay. Okay. Spitmore Blaster, a bioengineered medium to short range weapon. Based on some type of amphibian creature, many of the organs seem to be designed, are redesigned or removed, yet the central nervous system remains intact, causing the weapon to unknown error. 
I don't, that's where I don't want that word in that sentence. And it's not functioning when it reaches its functional capacity. Uh, the um, ammunition consists of pods that are able to pierce even metal and are coated with highly acidic mucus, which can inflict further damage to the target. The maw is fairly wide in the design, causing the pods to spread widely. So short range is advised for maximum damage. It's a shotgun! A shock took a lot of words for the video game to get to the word shotgun there. <laughs> but I am seeing the phrase semi auto. I'm taking it. Also, I'm level proficiency two. How is this how is this weapon only level one? My proficiency is two. Or is it just a better gun so it's harder to get high proficiencies? Although the whole point was that the my proficiency was the minimum level they could be. Taking it. Found a new weapon. Ah, uh, the old ones do it, stay on the ground. Um. Oh. 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 Fuck me. Okay. Hi, buddy. How are you? Ow. Nice. I can reload. Oh, God. Run away. I can reload. <laughs> Some fun. I'm sorry. If your game has active reload, I'm gonna. Li I'm, I, there's a good chance I'll like it. I, 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 I am a sucker for active reload. All right, that came up with a name, but I missed it. <laughs> Wait, what's the alt fire on this thing, though? The alt fire is the grenade. <laughs> that's where. That's where it comes in. Gotcha. Gotcha. Also, that thing fucks me up. So really. God damn. Okay. All right. That is more uh, tech. Encountered a small life form. Maybe it's not. It, it looks like the other tech that it, we attached to us. It is parasitically attached to my arm. Mommy! I've become this alien monster. I don't know. It looks like it hurt a lot when it Somehow, parasitically attached itself to your arm. It's strengthening. And weakening my suit. Oh, fuck no. Beneficial and detrimental effects of your suit. Pre uh, access your uh, state. Okay. To learn more about attached ones. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Positive and negative things. Okay. Strange one of the investor won't affect your suit in different ways. While some might alter your, uh, the way your suit is prepared, others can prevent death entirely. Jesus Christ. Each parasite has unique buffs and debuffs. Some parasites automatically detach after the buff is depleted, but most stay on until they are forcibly removed via a device or a consumable. Oh dear god. Okay. Uh, caustic wire tail prevents malfunction or reduces malfunction probability. Hostiles leave behind a pool of acid upon death. Oh Jesus. Less malfunctions is nice, but every enemy has, like, martyrdom on it? That's concerning. That's fucking concerning. Is what that is. Also, uh, this one looked like it had a rough run in with some parasites. Hi, buddy. How do you make other things drop acid? Sci-fi world is spooky. <laughs> All right, teleporter. Oh, it's long range. Okay, sick. We're getting a lot of long range teleporters. It makes me think that the, the like the worlds later on, but as we get deeper and deeper, we're gonna come across some complicated as shit runs, where it's gonna be backtracking, jumping back and forth a lot to like grab keys to go forward. Oh Jesus fucking Christ! It's that one again. Fuck me. Oh fuck me. Oh, I'm dead. So I'm dead. <laughs> Fuck. Hi, buddy. I don't want to be near you. And I don't want you to be near me. I fucked up the extra really. Oh, Jesus. The acid. I went to pick up its thing and then the acid. Fuck. Okay. Fuck. What, what was that? Oh, it's just my gun. It's another one of my guns. Okay, enemies can drop guns. Enemies can indeed drop guns later on. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna do a spot of this! That one killed that one very quickly. <laughs> that one went, oh, that went much better. Hop, sorry, hi, Mr. Gunny. How are you today? I am uh, terrified now. Uh, this run was going well. And then those things were spitting shit at me and now this run is not going well. 
That sound is cool. I don't know what's causing that, but the sound is cool. Don't. Don't. Fucking don't. Where are you guys? <laughs> Oh, uh, God. I think after you got teleport ticket, just made all teleporters you found afterwards activate. Well, all ones you found before are still dormant. Yeah, so there's going to be even more beforehand. Don't do this. Okay, there are, there are bullets coming at me from something. There you are. Hi. God. Okay. This gun is good when you're close, but fuck, I don't like getting close. I do not like getting close to these things. Is uh, the main concern that I have. Completely missed! Sick! Fortunately, our running and dashing, it means we can get in and, like, fuck you up without too much of a Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's like two shots and it kills them. Also, I just took damage. I, I think I ran on some acid! Ah, fuck it! God damn it! Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And the horse you rode in on. Fine on the ceiling, riding on a horse. Okay, I'm terrified that still doesn't say air secure. I'm wondering if it's not saying air secure right now because the vines are still around, so even though there's no other enemies. <laughs> uh, after you got teleport. Oh, no, I already, I already read that, sorry. I think Lizard Bull's acid are pretty small. It's more so when there's a shitload going on, it's hard for me to notice them. Or, like at the start, I see shiny item and I want to grab. And then um, I burn myself trying to grab a shiny item, which I didn't even fucking grab. More Ethel, let's fucking go. I, I, for this run, at the very least, I want to keep it. I want to keep it, see what it does on future runs. If it if it does anything. <laughs> okay. There is some healing over here. And healing is constantly behind shit that I can't destroy. <laughs> Son of the bitch. Can I get on my map for a second? Is there... I don't know. It's just this one pathway. Okay. <laughs> Onwards we go. I've got maybe a room or two left before I fucking cock it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm seeing so many enemies on my map. Already. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi. Hi there. I'll be your greeter today. Uh, I'd like to greet you to... Please don't kill me. Hi. God damn. The red appearing around me with my adrenaline. I constantly think I'm dying. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I get it. I'm gonna take care of you because you're gonna shoot me in the back while I'm taking on the other thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Does that help? No, it's a maximum upgrade. Fuck it, of course it is. Okay, uh, I'm gonna run around and kill, this, kill these fuckers. Oh, God, there's so many things around me! <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Yes! You're totally right, Densha! You are totally right! <laughs> this device prevented me from returning to the ship. Returned by Reconstructor. And there's a teleporter here. Alright. Back we go! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright, we have another go. We have another shot. We have another shot. And this time, taking back my other gun. <laughs> I want to be able to kill things at a range. <laughs> so I will take this with me this time and let us be on books. Alright, yeah, that was the other one. Duh. Go away. I won't touch you. I won't touch you. Alright, let's try again! I feel like I did that reconstructor ages ago. That was like two rooms ago. Oh, I think because I went to the vault the other way. This is working a lot better. <laughs> Hi, buddy! Things do seem to stagger relatively quickly if you can, like, keep up against them. consistent firing on them. Also, you... This movement, how fast it is, is gonna make combat, uh, like, it's gonna very much come in handy at some point. Like, it's damn near as effective as your fucking dodge sometimes, I swear. Okay. Hey, proficiency level 3, nice. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, I see an upgrade over here. I will gladly take this. What's this? Pr oh, pristine! Nice. A big, big, bu uh, buffy chunk. That's the word I went to say? I don't know if I wanted to stick with that one. Don't know if I should re-roll the boon of a buffy chunk as the phrase that I decided to go for there, but, you know, we'll roll with it. 
That's... That can't be here. Hey, Selene, I'm actually really on fucking board with what you're saying right now. What? That's a house. Like a human fucking house. I think I am reliving my memories in that house, but not fully. They're corroded. Some parts are missing, others seem manufactured. But I can remember the torment, feeling like I was losing my mind. There's no comfort here. No safe space. And the astronaut keeps following me. Feature! <laughs> Sorry, I'm not actually shitting on the game. Making a game that looks this fucking gorgeous, and with this complex environment design, as a roguelike with randomly generated rooms, would be fucking difficult. Is any bugs or anything in the appearance? I'm not gonna hold it against them. The fact that I'm barely, I'm only seeing, noticing them every now and then is a fucking miracle in of itself. And then also I don't have the patch. I will continue making the joke because the joke is funny though. That I will continue doing. As I said, feature. <laughs> okay, okay. A 20th century house. Locked. I have a gun! Shoot my way in. The house is literally locked. So I can't... Do I need keys? And also, what the fuck? Why is a house here? Okay. Okay. I am concerned. Whoa, look at all that shit that kicked up. Specifically a house that Celine knows at that. Well, she said it's her memory. So I'm, is it her current house? Childhood house? person's house of someone she knows it says memory so it's not necessarily her current house. and it also it okay actually he's actually leave close the door for a second no i just had a thought i just had a fucking thought and i don't know how important this is notice specifically what it says when i go up to it 20th century house how, look how advanced our tech is. Yeah, 20th century houses still exist right now because we're barely into the 21st century, but we don't call 20th century houses 20th century houses. We call them houses. We might call them a house from like the 19th, like early like 1900s. How far into the future are we right now? How old is this house? And if it's still a 20th century house, Celine knowing it. Has this house literally just existed for this long? And they've been repairing it? I, again, I could be reading too much into that. It could just be she's far in the future and the, like, a house that she knew of, someone she knew of, that she grew up in, or something, 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 etc., 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 could just be they happen to be traditionalists and just kept that house. But the fact that it says 20th century feels significant. Like it feels like it wouldn't say the phrase 20th century without it being an important detail of it. It doesn't say it's our house. It says it's a 20th century fox house. Well, maybe not the fox, but it could also mean 20th century style house too, but it's impossible to say it um, at this point. Yeah. Someone's just like gone retro and built a new house. Because it does say style, yeah. Uh, Tachyon Carbine. Uh, critical hit. I'll take it. It's also just more powerful. Whoa, whoa, look at that. Parasite, potentially beneficial or hazardous. Prevents one malfunction, detaches after one. Oh, Jesus, fuck you. Um, I was reading. Orb lights used to be at one second faster. I'll fucking take it. Get rid of these pools of acid appearing. I'll fucking take it. They still have the pools of acid appearing. Did it not replace my other one? 
Oh, fuck. I thought it replaced my other one. No, I've just got one on my other fucking arm. Fuck me. Fuck. I thought I could only have one. I don't know why I thought that. I thought one would, like, eat the other as it jumped on. But nope. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I was just getting rid of the other one. No, I need to use a different proper item to do that. Fuck. Okay. Sick. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Health or... Uh, large damage. Okay, well, uh, I, I'm not damaged right now, so I'm gonna leave. This is why we use the long range gun. <laughs> Instead of the shotgun. I gotta say, I did not expect in any capacity this game to have bullet hell enemies. But I guess it does make sense. Roguelikes often have bullet hell stuff in them, that it's usually not third person shooters. <laughs> so, there is also that. Alright. More vines I can't destroy. <laughs> More vines I cannot destroy. Uh, ooh. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've literally found the Chaos Boon Room. We fell into the fucking floor and we found the Chaos Boon Room. Fuck. <laughs> it's literally what we've done. Oh, I, I literally don't even have the Z attack to do it, so it doesn't even matter. But I do have this. Random item. Fuck it. I haven't done this yet, so I'll do it. I got an orb! Everything is orb. Everything is orb. Apex fear. Instantly recharge for maximum adrenaline. <laughs> wow. Is that a consumable? Uh, okay. Portable sphere um, consisting of database moves match. When the object is activated, it releases chemicals and particulates that resemble unknown reference. While this normally shouldn't affect human physiology, the effect nonetheless to, is to increase the adrenaline levels to the maximum limit. Long term effects unknown. Cool. They are consumables. Single use items being affected to carry too. multiple. Nice, okay. Okay, well, I can't pick up the Chaos Boon to the Chaos Boon room, but I did pick up that. And now I teleport back. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, God, this game is getting to me. Uh, it is pulling, like, it's pulling me in. Like, it's pulling me in of a, god damn, I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> uh, so if I'm, I'll take that. I do have a small amount of damage I could heal. I will take that. Oh, uh, goodness. You know, I was thinking I'd end this, uh, oh god. This stream when this run was done, like, whenever I died. I'm honestly shocked it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. This is going to be a much longer stream than I thought it would be. I'm almost definitely going to pick it up myself after this stream. Okay, okay, I'm glad that I'm not the only one who's getting it. I'm glad that, like, watching this... I'm, I'm sorry for making you spend money and put more time into a video game. But I'm glad that watching this, you're picking up the same thing that I am. Oh, shit, this is actually kind of sick. <laughs> Fascinating. I've discovered a kind of technology that records... Past or a visual archive of sorts. Oh, what the fuck is happening? Oh shit. Okay. Ashamed to be depicting historical events. Okay. Oh, right. it's right. It's triangle. The sentience encountered the same hostile fauna. Huh. Okay. Uh, technically, you did already die. Yeah, but that was so sh quick into it that I figured another run was on the r <laughs> uh, was on, and it's this run that has really been selling me on it. So, all right. Um, sentience cowering from environmental dangers of overgrown ruins. Okay, that's so it's just that image. Okay. You died on this run, then revived. Well, I'm not gonna. The run is still going. Oh shit. Probability very high. I have stuff that wait. No, the thing that's on my arm literally prevents it once, right? Yeah, it literally prevents it once. Fuck you. Guess what? Doesn't even matter. Okay, yeah, the thing appeared off disappeared off my arm. <laughs> I was about to say, did it use it? Yeah, it did. Proficiency level four. Particle effects. The power of the PlayStation 5. They built protection. This must have occurred centuries ago. Really long ass fucking time ago shit happened. Nice try, get fucked. Fuck you, malignancy! 
Okay, so that's them standing guard over shit. Okay. Okay. God, I really didn't think I'd be like getting like I like I picked it up with this like you know people talking about it's a good third person shooter. I want to experience a game that's just a PS5 as shit game. Fuck it, I'll pick it up. I, I I've got the money to blow on it, and I just want to see what a PS5 can do when it's like made for PS5. And now I'm just like fuck, I'm actually really enjoying this. Well, the particles moving as you run through the figures. Oh my god, they are too. PS5. Okay, no seriously, like if you think about it, the fact that all of these can move. How many particles is the PS5 rendering right now? They're all basic particles, they're all just lights, yes. But it is tracking the location of all of them in real time and having physics on all of them in real time. Or it's turning on the physics as I get near them and turning it off when I get away from them to not do all of that. If whatever it's do whichever way it's doing it, it's an impressive from a coding and a console perspective. Either way, it's impressive. Fabricators. I've used those. Only recently. Yeah, no, like, no matter what it's doing to do this, it's fucking impressive. Okay, so... Thing I can't interact with. Mm, okay. Zeno Archive. as oh, there's more of that, okay. Look at that on the wall. Just the water running down. This feels like it should do a thing, right? Like, is it really... Am I on the main path? No, this is explicitly a side path. Okay. Like, I know I did all the Zeno Archive stuff up there, but, like, it feels like this is where the location is, or, like, the market is on the map. It should still be doing a thing. Unless it just means Archive is the entire place. I don't know if I'm meant to be able to do anything here. Looks like a big central part, so it's important. Also, ray tracing! <laughs> ray tracing is shit. But hey. I can't see anything else I can do with that. I'll move onwards. There might be, but I can't... If there's a way to do it, it's either I don't have the tech for it, or I don't have the smarts to look at what I'm going to do. So it's one of the two. Also... Like, and it's... I feel like I'm just jerking off the PS5 when I say stuff like this in terms of just like, look at how it's able to do the particle effects and everything like that. But like, between the particle effects just looking cool, like, the triggers with the alt fire stuff and this and pulling it down to do all of that, the vibe, like, there's a vibration in the controller and the trigger when you're holding it all the way down here. As I'm running through, like, it's got the vibration of the rain coming around. Like, it is console tech that is helping emerging. And, like, it's the vibration on the controls that are doing it the most. Like, they took HD Rumble and said, but what if we made HD Rumble more about immersion? Like, the like it is the tiniest, tiniest little feeling when you're running through the environment uh, of the of the, of the the rain pitter-pattering onto the controller. But it's enough that you can subconsciously note, like, it's not calling to your attention and going, yo, this is happening. Um, but it's enough to call to your attention that it's like, yo, this is going on. Like, right now, standing on this thing, there's a pulsing, like, that matches the lights going through the controller. Like, the HD rumble is being used to just add an extra dimension of the sensory perception that the game does with its audio, with its sounds, etc. Like that. It's doing very well. Oh, fuck me. Why do I feel like I'm doing a tunnel? Hi, giant tree buddies. Lol, get fucked. Ah, that's my health fire on this one. Oh, Jesus! I don't have health fire. <laughs> Why did I think I would? I just used it. Lol. These things seem to get really fucked up with stun. If there's an overlight, over like, increased size thing, I'm gonna be so on board for that. Also, fuck, it's this thing again! It's the Vibe Checkosaurus! Oh fuck, okay. Is there anything else in here that's gonna try and kill me first? I just don't wanna get, I don't wanna try and dodge this thing and walk into something else. I think we're fine. I was gonna say, it looks like a goddess from Doom. 
was like, I have seen the rooms where like marauders or whatever spawn in in that in, in that game, and that's what that shit fucking looks like. Oh Jesus! This dodge is really fucking satisfying, by the way. I don't know how much it comes across in terms of how satisfying the dodge is to do on camera. Uh, that's like a pretty decent one. Like overload projectiles, extra bonus damage, comes with homing missile stuff. I think I'm gonna still stick with this. I am very much liking this gun for how effective it is doing just its thing right now. But that does look like it could be quite sick. I have two side paths. Oh my god, this run's never gonna end. I'm just too good, is what I'm learning. Um, I'm just really fucking sick at the video game. And I'm kinda crushing it and no one can stop me. Actually, before I go any further, there are upgrades <laughs> uh, um, to pick up this room. Or items to pick up at the very least. There's this. I can say the triangle's over here. Oh, shit. It's a xenoglyph cipher. Fuck, that's important. <laughs> Two out of ten. Fuck yeah, okay. That is actually a very important item to grab. Thank you. I didn't even, <laughs> didn't even pick up on that. Oh, uh, that's just a gun, and I can't get up to the higher one, because, yeah, crap, that hooks. Got it. All right. Back down, side buff we go. Here we go. Whee! This game is fun. <laughs> I'm really liking it. Ah, fuck. Sorry, is it, this is not the, uh, like, I was expecting to just be like, yeah, no, it's all right. It's like, it, it, like it's, it's fun. It's good shooting and everything like that. I was not expecting my reaction to this game to just immediately be, fuck, I'm like really into this. <laughs> oh, shit. Chaos Spoons, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. I'm waiting for enemies to be in one of those. Whoa, you get a ton of overlights coming into the into these rooms, though. You get like a, well, or at least, the, or at the very least, this one has a fuck ton. But if you use skills, you can get the. I, actually, I think it was literally. Just, I think it was literally just that one room was just meant to be a bunch of overlight. <laughs> I think it was just that. Oh, fuck, the light almost got me. So I don't know what happens when the light gets me, but you know, it's the type of thing I don't need to find out. Um. Present. Uh, that's. Yep, yeah, Axel, I'll take that. The, the loot rooms. Yeah, they could just be anything. Loot rooms can be good or bad. It is a roguelike. Um, but yeah. Or roguelite. Can I get to that one up there? Uh, uh, okay. I don't. Pristine calibrator. Thank you, being on the side. <laughs> Leaving that message up for quite a while. Oh my god, we've got another side path in this side bathroom. Jesus. Okay. So maps can get complex. Maps can get complex, but you always know where you have to go if you have to. Oh, Jesus. Is there enemies in here? Or is it just the gooey gooeys? It's just the gooey gooeys. I haven't walked on one of them, so I don't know how bad they are if you walk on them, but I've shot them and they explode. And there is a health thing somewhere in there. I didn't get hurt by that, but, you know. Wait. Go over here. It's a side path around the side here. Haha, <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, fuck, it's probably. Shit. Um. Oh, I can just scan it at the very least, find out what it is. Malignant resin. Okay. I don't I don't have any like I I don't I'm zero of three right now. I'm not gonna risk a corruption to get that. I'm not gonna risk corruption for that. If I if I was like one upgrade and I got it, I would take it. But I'm not. Ah, fuck. Never mind. Resistant to normal melee damage. Wait, can I shoot it? I said resistant to melee damage, but I can't shoot it. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, fine. Alright, you pass through. There we go. The dash is also really good. But... If you've played games that have dashes before, you'll know the difference between a good dash and a bad dash, um, in the sense of just, hey, when you try and dash in this game, and you do it mid-air to try and land somewhere, can you intuitively tell, quickly, how long to hold it to land where you need to, or do you sometimes overshoot or overshoot, um, because you can't quite tell how far it's gonna send you, and in this, so far, I've not missed a dash in mid-air yet. Like, I've always landed where I'm expecting to. Because there have been some games where that's not the case. Um, 
playing Blue Fire, the indie game for the Switch. Um, one of the directs I like marked out it, and then it came out. And so far, it's a good game. It's not like fantastic, but it's like a good game. Like I'm enjoying playing through it. But the one thing that I'm noticing constantly in that is when I'm dashing in mid air, sometimes I'm going not as far as I want to. Sometimes I'm going too far to compare to what I want to. And I just haven't really got. I can't really feel like I get a feel for how to dash how far I want to. Where in this, it's been perfect so far. I'm not going as far in this game as I am in Blue Fire, so that could be part of it, but I'm feeling it when I'm doing it. Oh, fuck. My house key. Oh, fuck, you can literally pick up the house key. How could this be back. here? Also, did you notice what she said? My house key. It is her fucking house. It is her house right now. She said my house key. Is her current house then? Eyes beholding, we must leave for the waste where raptured mind? <laughs> okay, we need to find a teleporter. Where was the most recent one? How far back? Oh, actually, it was like literally the previous room. Okay, we're going back there. We're going back there, we're going to our fucking house. <laughs> that is important shit we need to go to right now. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, there's the house. Alright! PS5 orbs. <laughs> like, that's just trying to flex, right? That's just trying to flex. There's no reason for that animation to look like that other than flexing, right? <laughs> like, it's not just me. It's specifically a flex thing. Alright, okay. Oh god, this is going to be full of horror, isn't it? Oh god, it's PT! This is fucking PT! I don't want to do this! Exactly as I left it. So this is her house. Okay. Hi, what's up? The frame rate in the mirror is atrocious. <laughs> but that's fine. Okay. So what we've got. We have some medication. There's a bridge. T-H-E-I-A? Thea? 720. Date of birth. Date of death. Astra Company Handbook. I logged my first missions in this binder, but this is stored in the Mothership's archives. I'm gonna get jump scared. I can fucking- I'm gonna get jump scared! I don't want to be jump scared. Alright, Abdication of Zeus is also here. Mystery of the Cosmos, the number one worldwide bestseller. After I left, why? Game, I don't like what you're doing to me right now. I'm, I'll be honest, not a fan. Not a fan. There's a, there's a reason that I've not done the horror game on the channel yet. There's a fucking reason for it. This is fucking PT. God damn it. God damn it. Who puts a PT in their roguelike? Open. I don't want to turn around. Fine. Bah! God says a slope. Bah! I'm gonna do that, and something's gonna bar back at me, and I'm gonna freak the fuck out. Hello? Who's up there? So thanks for joining us on Returnal. I really admit I'm a little bitch. Again, I don't like playing horror games. I do not like playing horror games. There's a reason for that. Why is that your wall art? Come on. 
Just asking for shit to be terrifying. Come on. Celine. Fucking why? What? It's a cube. Such strange markings. Yup. Yup. Is that my breathing or something else's breathing? Fuck off. Fuck off. What? What do you want me to do? That is out. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So the thing that I'm noticing the most is this is a 20th century house. Trophy earned. Completed the first house sequence. Okay, sick. 20th century house, 20th century spacesuit. Am I supposed to remember this? That's the main things I'm noticing right now. 20th century house, 20th century spacesuit. Unknown artifact. Potentially beneficial. It's the creepy astronaut. Personal item. It doesn't want to let you go. What? A standing energy of some unidentifiable being. It's supposed to be, to be one of readiness or resignation. Fine, I'll take it with me. I don't want to, but I'll take it with me. Whee! Whee! All right, and onwards we go. I think this is where I was going. Seventh one. Damn, I can see why runs in this game are really fucking long, especially when you're me. Uh, I am taking my time and exploring everything in this game, and like reading everything and doing everything. Uh, and I feel like that is going to make a run where I beat the game take like seven hours. <laughs> God. I mean, I'm into it. I'm super into it. I'm really fucking into what I'm doing right now, but I am scared of how long we run through. I've never the played a roguelike where I want to take in what is happening in the environment and stuff so much. Like that feels like that clashes with the roguelike aspect. Like it's a roguelike aspect where I'm literally taking in the environment and examining it the way I would a Metroid Prime game. And not just for the memes of, oh, it's a Metroid Prime game. Like literally, like, Playing it slow, investigating everything, learning everything about what I'm coming across is literally how I play Metroid. <laughs> so, uh, that with a roguelike is an interesting um, combination. I've discovered a broken automaton. It's gonna come to life Clutching when you touch it. Potential tool? Well, that was easy. safe to repurpose. Hell yeah, we got a sword! High frequency Xenotype blade, let's go! Fuck yeah! Trophy to equipment for immediate use. One of the basics of survival. Okay. Perform a blade attack. Use the blade to attack hostiles, break barriers and obstacles. Does this destroy these? Yeah, that's what it is. Good animation, good animation. It's got a lot. Can you, yes, you can quick cancel out of it. You can quick cancel out of the end lag. Ah, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. 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 Crimson Gateway. Large scale translocator. Unknown destination. Requires a crimson key. Okay. Oh, and then that bit. Okay, gotcha. Ah! <laughs> I'm a man ass motherfucker. What can I say? <laughs> no combos, smoking, sad style. Okay, we can't just also add in DMZ combos on top of this. That's getting a bit far, ain't it? <laughs> uh, okay, so there's that, which I do need something. Okay, that is where, that's what that main progression was fucking ages ago. Where were those locked doors? Okay, the locked door's actually not that far past where that first uh, trans uh, translocator is. That was the locked one back there. Very close to the fucking start. Um, we could teleport back there. We could teleport back there. 
if I want to make this run even. I mean, the run will take as long as it takes. I'm not going to intentionally die to stop the run. I'll go as long as it takes to naturally come to a conclusion. But... Oh, I didn't activate the other one, so it's actually way further back. Oh, I don't even know if I can go back, actually. Because that's where I fell. That's where I fell, so I don't actually think I can go back there. Ah, uh, damn. This is the first... Yeah, this is the first teleporter that I found. The others aren't active. And I can't jump up there. I actually can't go back that way. Never mind. I can't go back. Holy shit, I'm enjoying this so far. Will I... See, that's the thing is... I mean, I'm loving what I'm doing so far. With the length of single runs and it being a roguelike... Light, whatever you want to call it. Will the length of runs drain the experience and just be like, oh god, I just want to beat it, but it's such a long process and then I just die at the end. Ah, uh, this is a possible concern. I don't know at this stage whether it's going to have the lasting potential because of the roguelike aspect. The roguelike aspect may make it too tedious, but for what I'm doing right now, I'm really enjoying it. Like, it's very much going to be a game I'm going to do a number of runs on. And if I just get to a point where I just can't fucking beat it, I might put it down and just never beat the game. But for what I'm doing right now, I'm loving it. That's what I meant earlier. You passed those early teleports before you got the teleport upgrade and they didn't retroactively activate. Yeah, so I can't... Yeah, so I couldn't go back further. God damn it. I'm loving the vibes of the atmosphere in this game so much. Does it smack? Hi. Hi. Sup? How are you today? Would you like to be shot by my gun? Nice. Oh god, okay, you're behind me, you're behind- Oh, Jesus. You're behind me, I don't like that. Nice. How much damage does this do to an enemy? Oh lord, that killed it in one hit! <laughs> it killed it in one hit! The melee attack. It's gonna be hard to hit on certain enemies, but it killed it in one hit. <laughs> And blade is, yeah, you can see the recharge. Like, the dash and the blade have their own recharges, but they don't appear until you use them. That's cool. That's cool. Alright. Permanent item. I think I saw it say permanent item. Anathema key! It unlocks the vault. Nice. That's nice, 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 nice. Open the vault. Alright, okay, sick. No, I'm gonna take a spot. I'm gonna read some of the shit that I got. Because I got a lot of fucking shit right now to read. <laughs> um, Kerber Onyx. Genetically engineered, uh, genetically near identical to Kerberons, but some corrupted decks seem to cause an individual to mutate, becoming larger, more damage resistant, and able to spit a higher amount of projectiles in one expulsion. Instead of the bloom luminescence present in their smaller counterparts, the Kerber Onyx have gains in orange coloring, which does stand out more um, in its environment, making it a potential mating display. Currently, they're classifying these two as separate subspecies, although it's unclear if they are able to crossbreed. Monster Hana reference. Myco. Pardon me. Myco. A large fungus-like entity that incorporates biomatter from reference unknown in tall humanoid shape. It can launch both similar substance projectiles as observed in other fauna in this environment, as well as its own spores, which stick to the target and slow its movement. It is especially dangerous when heavily damaged, um, as it will launch a desperate heavy-hitting attack. While clearly a defensive barrier, so far there's no explanation as to how it can collapse and reform elsewhere in a matter of seconds. We're using teleporters, it's fine, don't worry about it. Um, the Myodon. A blind creature with thin, ragged membranes only partially attached to long, bony extrusions from its main torso, which is snake-like in appearance. Despite the presence of these wing-like limbs, its capacity for flight seems to have no relation to their movement. Rather, it seems to hover and move as if it were a reference error. <laughs> when attacking, it closes the distance between itself and its prey at such a speed it can be theorized it is somehow able to manipulate space-time. Like a fucking boss. Alright, well, I'm not going to read all of them right now. Just get a couple out of the way. Oh, wait, no, I have a teleporter. <laughs> I have a teleporter right here. There's two teleporters very close to each other. I got one right here. All right, Anathema Vault. Fuck yes. <laughs> it seems like this is structured as the second run of like, you are like, you are meant to come, come across all these things, introducing you to a concepts as you do this run. Anathema Key just flew into the door, fuck yeah. Oh shit, big door to a big evil vault. Strange energy source is beyond this. It might be tied to White Shadow. I still have no idea what White Shadow is. 
Celine clearly knows more than we do in that regard, but hey. Modified sidearm. It's just more of our fucking corpses. Um, it's a lower... L I don't know how this proficiency thing works, I'll be honest. I've got a proficiency level of 4, but it's still only a level 2 that I can pick up. I'll be honest, I'm not quite understanding that. Like, you didn't even get the trophy for the basics until you picked up the sword. Yeah. But yeah, we're like, we are still in... This is going to be structured kind of specifically to make sure you can't miss stuff until you get at least all the tutorial shit. <laughs> um, I think the game just wants me to drop down. I think the game just wants me to drop down. Fuck it. Fuck it! Oh shit. I just noticed a thing saying defeat on the side. I think this is a boss fight. Oh fuck. I think I found where the rock's gonna end. Well, you look cool. Jesus Christ! Oh, it's Frank! We saw that name earlier, I think. So bosses go full bullet hell, it seems. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> it's a goddamn dark spawn. Is this a doom thing? <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck me. Dragon Age. Oh. Bullet hell, goodness! That one's terrifying. Oh! Oh, I drained its health bar and it's got multiple. Oh, it's like literally phases. Each health bar is a phase. Got it! Jesus fucking Christ! I'm glad I have this gun for this. Oh, Jesus! Oh, fuck me. Okay, get over, get over, get over. Oh fuck, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh Jesus. <laughs> ah! I'm very much liking what we're doing here. But I'm also terrified! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my fucking god. Ah, fuck it, I over I really put the letters. Okay. Ah, Jesus. Damn, nice. Okay, phase two down. Phase two down. Phase two down. Oh, fuck me. Okay, fuck. Fuck. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Oh, no! Whoa! Whoa, 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 what? Returned by an artifact? Wait, what? What artifact? What? What brought me back? What artifact brought me back? I actually don't know what did that. I thought that was the end of me. Oh, fuck, that is really hard. Jesus Christ! Do not like what you're doing there, buddy. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. You can, like, keep aiming. Oh, fuck me. Focusing too much on the active reloading, I need to dodge properly. Fuck, 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 this is sick. This is so sick! Oh my god, you come back on the re-sweep! Ah, fuck! <laughs> Fucking damn it! Ah! Oh. <laughs> fuck! Okay. Okay. First boss got me, that's okay. fine. Hey, if I- hey, if my- if my Astra second- if my second run got to the fir first boss and I died there, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm alone. Oh, fuck. Okay. As a boss fight, that was sick, though. It does the bullet hell shit fun. Bullet hell stuff in a third person shooter. That was really fun. It kicked my ass, and I returned with some form of artifact that I still don't know what. But it was fun as shit. Oh, what is this? Oh, hey! I have the I have the repository thing to swap around stuff here. Nice. Nice. I don't have my ether. I just noticed when I was looking at the Obelite swapping thing, I don't have my ether. I thought it said it was permanent. Also, this Discovered. thing's now doing a thing. 
A strange device that is already active. And it's blinking. It alive. I'm not receiving any information when scanning. Dude. You gave me a little statue. Thank you. I guess weird obelisk. Larger obelisk gave me small obelisk. Cathonus, this is great as shit. Uh, unlocks new items for your um for your use in exchange for ether. You can see the progress um on the meter. Once the light reaches the top, you'll unlock the next item. Like what? Emergency shield. At low integrity, gain a shield against the next hit. What? Was that a permanent thing or is that a this run thing? It's not in my suit augment, so I don't think it's a permanent thing. House key is, though. House key is permanent. Oh, okay, this is the artifacts here. I must have picked up an artifact that was a respawn at some point. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice that. Fuck me. Okay. Okay. So, does this... Is that what's happening? Is my... Whenever you die, whatever effort you have goes into this thing... It fills up all of the eyes going up, and if you die and the eyes fill, it gives you an artifact for the next run. Is that what's happening? It's not like you use Ether as a permanent upgrade thing. It just... If you get Ether on a run and you don't use it, you'll at least get something out of it coming back. Is that what's happening? I'm a bit unsure about that system, but that is something that we can obviously learn at future points okay so i'm not doing another run right now uh so trade your permanent resource for upgrades you can find on future runs unlocking one gives it to you for free that run sounds pretty typical oh that would make sense so i can now find those in the, on, on future runs okay okay yeah if that's what it is as you collect ether you unlock new stuff that you can find on the run that makes a lot of sense actually that makes more sense than whatever the fuck i was thinking okay okay so if you don't use Ether, you work towards new unlocks. Not new permanent upgrades, but new unlocks that you can get in the run. Okay. Yeah, I'm not doing another one right now. I'm really liking this game. Ah, this is not the reaction I was expecting to have to this. Like, I just heard people talk about it, just be like, oh yeah, it's good on Twitter, and I like knew about it because I saw it in the, the things, and I'm just like... Eh, fuck it. I need a- I wanna- I just wanna play a PS5 game. Like, a p proper PS5 game. I just wanna play one. Fuck it. This will do well. I wanna test the stream later today. I might as well- like, I wanna test the stream today anyways. I was just gonna kick up Rise and then just, like, do a couple random hunts in that. Um, I'm really liking this game. Like, I'm really into it. Um, this is not the response I was expecting to have to this. Um, the question becomes... Do I continue streaming this and I stream all of my runs and this becomes an actual LP or do I stream every now and then? Because the thing is like seeing the new shit in this seems really exciting. So I kind of would like, it's either I'm not going to do any more episodes or I'm LPing this game. It's one of the two. Like, I don't want to just be like, come back and do the next video and go, oh yeah, you know, I'll do the next stream after doing another five runs. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. It's either I don't do it anymore or I don't do that. I don't know how accurate this is, but what I've heard is that the story is about 20-ish hours. Well, like, it's a roguelike, so it really depends on how good you are. Also, 20 hours for a normal person. They said, what, average runs are 90 minutes to two hours? We're two and a half hours in to this stream. <laughs> so... I think with me at the helm, a successful run is going to be a four-hour run. Um, fuck, I think, I think this is going to become an LP. I think this is going to become an LP. Ah, fuck. Not what I was expecting from this at all. Shit. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> I mean, it's not a bad thing, it's just I already have so much on my plate. And I didn't want- this wasn't designed to become an LP. It was designed to- it was literally- it wasn't even designed to be a proper episode or anything like that. It was literally designed to be a test. And then it turned- oh god, I can't help but just turn every fucking game I play into an LP, can I? I can't help it. I have a fucking problem. Fuck, um... Stay tuned for more Eternal in the future. Fuck it, we're doing this. We're doing this. I'm into this too much. I'm into this too much. And I feel like it's a good stream game. People can be like be excited by what the ro the roguelike stuff happens as it goes on. And um, discovering whatever the fuck is going on seems to be exciting. Which is interesting for a roguelike. Like, we've got a lot of mischief going on of just what the fuck is going on. Oh, god damn it. Fuck, this is not the response I was expecting to have to this game. Fuck me. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go because it's late. Um, stay tuned for more Returnal. I, uh, uh, you can get back on the ship. Oh, you're right. Yes, I know that was a prompt I saw before. Does stuff change on the ship when I do this? Hmm. There's new shit on the floor. I don't like these first person segments because it makes me feel like it's going to go horror. Right, nothing I can fuck with here. Nothing I can fuck with just here. Okay. The main thing I want to see if there are little astronaut figures on the ship somewhere. Ah, uh, you have a really good point. Although, there's this one. There's a cube man. There's a cube man. Alright, there's our storages. We can interact with whatever that is. Um, Alright, let's fuck with this. Data from last hour. Malfunctions. Uh, Overlights collected. Hostiles eliminated. Deaths, areas. Hostiles, max adrenaline. Um, successful overloads, malfunctions, parasites. Unidentified item in cargo bay. Please remove. Breaking down all hollow. Why is that like it's encrypted? Like the other stuff is. Total suit usage. Fucking timer. Thanks. Databank, um, data bank matrix. I guess that's how much stuff you've seen and how much you've like fully discovered that thing by like killing it a lot or something. Oh shit. We have like a. F oh fuck. Oh fuck. Okay. We're gonna read this. Uh, warning communication block intrusion detected. You're hereby ordered to return corrupted text. Abort current corrupted text. Fisher 2651 Atropos and its corrupted text. Scout ship designation corrupted text. Not been corrupted text. Further planetary study required prior to exploration corrupted text. Your immediate corrupted text, including acknowledgement corrupted text, in immediate and permanent corrupted text. Whereas neglecting corrupted text, despite previous corrupted text, willful and blatant corrupted text is not corrupted text. Now, there's a lot of corrupted text in this. I have this weird feeling we're in trouble. I think we're in trouble. <laughs> uh, and four star override log open. Emily Sanza has started a conversation. Selene Vassos has joined. Cecilia Carascott has joined. Um, M, something major ha happen? Um, Selene, this is another emergency drill. I'm, I'm still in maintenance. Honestly, I'm not sure. Do you see the white shadow with glitches? What is this from? It has to be a glitch. The void we're crossing has zero galaxies. Remember when we were devoted? I think this was the reason. Which definitely explains why the upper echelon was so evasive. Selene? Oh, fuck. Alright, protocol and regulations. Scout division. Astro protocol. Safety precautions. Conduct missions within safe practice guidelines to ensure maximum chance of survivability. <laughs> Don't be a ballsy bastard and you might live a bit longer. Uh, uninterrupted communication. Maintain constant contact with team or handle it immediate prior to a mission until its completion. Freedom of choice. Achieve objectives through the best means possible, alerting mission plans as necessary due to conditions in the field. <laughs> Sky regulations. Threat assessment. Identify and avoid dangers. Subdue if necessary. You don't have to kill everything to advance unless it's locked down. Uh, environment analysis. Identify safe areas and resources utilizing as needed. Information retrieval. Survive at any cost or ensure successful data transmission. <laughs> Die! Win a run, but if you don't win a run, try to collect shit for the next one. 
Times of crisis, evac protocol supersedes all other protocol and regulations currently in effect regardless of mission status or overseer directives. Slain Vassal's personal file. Um, department, Astra Survey, primary, um, reconna primary role, reconnaissance scout. Proficiencies, first encounter, data analysis, field repair, weapons testing. Makes sense. Current mission, Jaeger 675 uh, Olympic Volcanic Vents, FQ212 Fossilized Gas Giant, EH652 Mons to More Peak Ascent, and RN883 Aurora Blasted Plains. And with Ambrose 415 Crater Site, the Kepler 138 Petrified Forests, fly over NL604 Maelstrom, and salvage a VB wreckage. So she's a storied person at this. There seems like a shocking reasonable set of regulations for, presum uh, for presumably corporation. Survive at any cost, fuck your regulations, do what you have to do according to the situation, etc. <laughs> now we don't seem to be reprimanded for just going, if you need to do something to survive, fucking do it. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing about, like, you, you would expect if this was like, if Astra Corporation was evil, you would expect ensure working equipment before anything else. Do, do, don't damage the ship if it costs you your life <laughs> kind of thing log open Slain Vassal has entered the channel and Cecilia and Emily are also here um well Cecilia's AFK what may I response currently unavailable morning Emily I have priority requisition order I have time before CC returns and sends her batch go ahead I've been assigned to my own scout ship and I'd like to have all items transferred from personal storage as soon as possible I thought you said your promotion was pending evaluation has that been approved some of the items are fragile so please have the technicians informed has the evaluation been approved? I'll be talking to Quartermaster about the rest. Okay, she's taking matters into her own hands, it's, uh, it would seem. It's saying I've still got stuff to look at in here, but there's nothing there. Okay. I can't work out anything else if there's anything else going on in, on in there. Okay. Back of the ship. I can't see the astronaut figure anywhere, but I'm curious. It says there's stuff in the cargo bay to get it out of, but I can't tell what it is. Alright, let's sleep. Have another nightmare. I swear I'll stop playing this game at some point. I don't know when that's going to be, but at some point I'll probably have to. <laughs> it is like 7pm for me. Oh, it's the orb again! Our friend! The orb! This type of game it is hard to tell whether that means anything or whether that is just whatever <laughs> but it is some form of orb, the orb. i'll take box plus business i just get it back on the ship it's fine i mean this is me the, i in these types of games i will read every bit of fucking dialogue that is handed to me this is partially why I want to LP Metal Gear, and partially why me LPing Metal Gear is a really bad idea. But. I can't. It said remove ship from somewhere, but I can't tell where that somewhere is. Or whether I can even do anything with it. Can I jump on the ship? I cannot jump on the ship. Damn it. Alright, fine. I will not jump on the ship. There's so much other logs to read, but I'll read those, like, at other times. Oh, I gotta stop this somewhere. I am really liking this game. This game is fucking good. Oh, man. Yeah. New full LP confirmed, because... Fuck, I absolutely want to play more of this. I really do. Um, I don't know how frequently I'm going to do it, because I have so much other shit going on right now, but... I think this turned itself into a full LP. <laughs> fuck. So... Next time, run number three. Oh, goodness, now here comes. So until then, this is version two. Signing out.